Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video, I'm Jules, and we're gonna be doing a little bit of gameplay footage today. You know, I thought it'd be a little bit of fun. I wanna do this for a little while for the channel, so we're gonna kick it off today. Now, doing this for a couple of reasons. One, because I know that there's some of my viewers, some of my subscribers that don't watch any other video gaming content, any other video gaming um, channels. So I thought I'd give them a little bit of a peek into what I'm playing how I'm playing it, what I'm playing it with, and then they can just sort of you know, have a little bit of fun with, and with the fun that I'm having also while playing these games. So, And also, I know that myself, I look at other people's channels for what controllers to use, what games they're playing, what, you know, for example, with this steering wheel, what, you know, what steering wheel should I get? What stand should I get? So I thought I might do a little bit of that too, just for those out there that may be unsure if they want to get into Gran Turismo 7 racing simulators. They can, you know, this is the, like sort of the entry level one that I got here. Now, I really wanted to get into a nice cockpit, a nice simulation setup with the, with the monitor stand, you know, the racing seat, the pedals, you know, the, 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 the top steering wheels, but it really wasn't practical. It wasn't cheap. So I thought, you know what, let's just take it from the beginning, see how we go, don't rush into stuff. So I picked up this next level stand. This is the light. I'll show you a bit. A, bit more of it in a minute when I take the camera around, but pick this up for like $200. This is the Logitech G923. So this is the PS4 for the PS4, PS5 and PC. And it's a great wheel, you know, it cost me about 400, I think I got on, on special on Amazon, but I know prices fluctuate a fair bit on Amazon, but you know, it, it, it really does sort of give me the experience that I've always sort of dreamt of moving forward. I've always had like a, I had a steering wheel for PS3, PS2, so now I'm on the PS5. And on the left here, you can't see it, but I've also got the Logitech shifter, so we'll have a look at that again in a minute. But yeah, I'm really having fun with it. I've got the VR2 behind me here, so we're gonna do a little bit of a bit of a tour around Mount Panorama in a minute. And yeah, we'll, I'll just before we do that, I'm gonna show you just a little bit of the equipment I've got running this setup. All right, as you can see here, this is the G923, beautiful steering wheel. You know, I love it. That's the um, Logitech shifter on the left. Now, this is the next level racing stand. It's quite sturdy, really solid. Um, weighs about 15 to 20 kilos with everything on it. Easy to set up, everything sort of just bolts on to it, very sim simple. It does support other steering wheels such as the, you know, the Fanatec and the, the Thrustmaster um, um, steering wheel. So yeah, good for that. You can sort of adjust the height here with these um, these screws, and it, it does fold down. You can sort of see there at the bottom, it folds down there. And as you can see by these pedals, they're pretty, pretty, I, I love them. They're great, you know, I've never played with a pedal that's so sort of, it's got beautiful tension to the floor, and they actually look really, really sort of professional as well. So yeah, that's the, that's the sort of setup I got for that. So it really does do it well. And this, I play this on the, um, this is the Sony Bravia 55 inch XR OLED. I had to match it with my PS5 when I first got it. Um, it was just a no brainer for me, for Sony to be with Sony. And I've always been a bit of a fanboy. So yeah, it looks amazing. Everything, you know, obviously all the OLEDs are gonna look equally amazing. But for me, I've always been a Sony guy. So that's why I got that. Yeah, we're gonna play it on the PS5. PS5, that's the VR2 there, an incredible thing, just an unbelievable experience as you'll see when I put on the next little bit of, um, of gameplay. Well, we're using the NSX in this race. It's a little bit lower PP than the, um, than the GTR, so it should be fairly bit better match than it, it, it. Now we try to have an incident free race, drive a little bit responsibly. You sort of see the cars are all, these ones are going pretty fast. Now I've never driven the NSX, this is the first time I've got in it, this is the NSXR. But we're heading up Mountain Straight. Now, I've still got the red braking markers because I'm not that sort of familiar with the track in the game one so to say. I did grow up with Mount Panorama just like I guess people around the world grew up with their own local tracks whether it's Silverstone, Spa, Nurburgring, Laguna Seca. So this is the one I, 
I've always dreamt of playing. To be able to play it on the VR like this is just absolutely incredible. You, know, you can see the beautiful cars. There's the Ferrari up there, the Mustang, there's a Supra, a Porsche on the left. Beautiful. And with our aim's not to win, it's more just to have a, a nice sort of competitive race. Let's see how we go. Have some fun, really. Now, I've chosen the time of the day at dawn for this. So, yeah. My mother in law actually lives about 100 metres from Pitt Strait. You probably almost see her house in College Street down the bottom there. Whoa, sorry, bro. And I've driven around this track in, the GC in my GTR. I'll tell you what, the speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour and it is absolutely fearsome. You look at some of the barriers, and even at 60, it's pretty, it's, you know, some of those corners back up there on the mountain, the way down there, they're just brutal. Go, oh, bro, come on. I always find this the chase here a bit hard, and I'm going sideways get too much under brakes. Oh, the Ferrari's on the outside. Oh, no, the Super's losing. Oh, he's smashed into the Porsche. Whoa, Juju on the outside. Oh, I'm hit the grass. Oh, shame, shame. Let's see if we can get him without him. Go back with his style now. One lap down. This is a three lap race. All right, let's see how we go on this second lap. It looks like that's the mark, not a Mustang. Maybe the Mustang behind me. You can sort of see in the VR, and you can look in your mirrors and you can look around. It's what you sort of see. It's, in, it's so, that's crazy. Oh, on the brakes. Let's go to that beautiful GTA Ferrari. Oh, drooling, totally drooling. Anyone around me? No. I'm just going to take this Porsche on the outside. Maybe we can go on the inside. RX MFD up here. Let's see if we get in. This Ferrari is flying. Under brakes. Up the straight. What's our next target? Is it the Lamborghini? <laughs> Insane. It's the who's who of amazing cars in this race. Is it Lamborghini? That's a Testarossa. Oh my gosh, that's even better. It's a Ferrari Testarossa. One of the cars will actually. Love growing up along with that with the F40. Look at that and just sit on it for a while and watch it to get over to the feel of it. Like to get these people on the outside around here. If you're there, what's the next couple? That's like another NSX. So here we go. Okay, we're in fifth place now. Pretty much halfway through the race. Let's see if we can just keep the momentum going here. Right down skyline, look at that beautiful view. Look, it's a bit sideways there. Oh, almost here. Got the dude ready. Z up the front there. Sick. Oh, should have, no. Be careful, man. Okay. Right at the end. Alright. Let's see if we can get these guys down this straight. Looks like there's an Audi R8 up there, isn't it? I see. Chase here, like I said, this corner always sort of hold it straight. Oh, it's on the, yeah, it is an R8, nice. It's one of my other cars I like to love. That's one thing I love about Grand Turismo, you can pretty much have a garage of all the cars you've ever, ever frothed over. Like, this was the layers car that I brought this NSX. And really my dad, we actually always say, I'm in the lot of the first thing we're going to buy, sorry, brother. First thing we're going to buy is an NSX. It's one of those dream cars, supercars. I guess the next lab, best lab thing to own one is maybe driving it. At least you don't have to worry about fixing it after running up the back of that RA. Oh, look at that ego at the front. Oh, around the outside. Beautiful move. Alright, he must be right next to us. Whoop. Right next to us. There he is. <laughs> See that? That's He's coming up on the outside. The RA could be more power. 
straight by the looks of it here. Have to keep him down on the chase. Get on the slipstream. He's going to hit the wall. He's going with him. Still got the R8 behind us. He might catch up a little bit here. But we haven't got too much of a slipstream in front of us. Let's go, dog. Nice race. They'll have fun here. Up to hit the grass. Can we do it? Around this car. sideways see <laughs> uh, he's gonna hit me on you guys here oh poor guy I feel sorry for you mate <laughs> the R8's right, gonna really take us anyway we're gonna have a little bit of fun poor guy my bad bro anyway that's where I met Panorama the NSXR <laughs> There we go. Good fun, man. That's what it's all about. This, this is like things that are dreams are made of, you know? This is just the first race of the day. This is like the third one or the fourth one. So we'll probably pick the first video. So yeah, awesome. There you go. How'd you like that? <laughs> Come on, turn it off. All right, this is the final lap of the race. We're heading down Conrod Strait and we're doing the replay from the car behind, which is in the Audi. So you can sort of just, you'll see me getting a bit wild. <laughs> just like we said we were going to, we had a feeling. You can see it's neck and neck there on the inside. Goes that way, they start to lose it. Onto the grass. Get back onto the track. Bang, hit their Lancer. He comes back and smashes the alley as well. And then yeah, Juju goes takes the chequered flag in embarrassing and shameful style. Anyway, it's good fun. Good replay options as well. what it takes to rise in rank within the unbounded. 
You'll start from the bottom and work your way up, dominating district by district. And after Shadowbank, the world. You can offer you an experience you won't easily forget. Remember my name? Kara Shingo. You're one of us now. Drive. And as you've seen there, that was the introduction for Ridge Racer Unbounded. Now, I'm absolutely loving this game. Arcade style, fierce racing, lots of, you know, destruction, lots of chaos. Fast, loud, colourful. You know, I, I couldn't recommend this more. Now, I've been playing this game on the Xbox 360 speed wheel here that i got. Now... If you watched some of my pickups video from a few months, you saw me get these from um, CX for cheap, like $12. I was actually checking out and I saw it in their glass cabinet and I'm, at the last second I was like, oh, I'll have that one as well, thanks. So easy to set up, you know, the sensitivity is really good. Like I'm not even gonna say pretty good. The sensitivity is really good. So you don't have to sort of just go a little bit and it goes everywhere. It's really nice, you know, so it was easy to get used to. So. If you pick one of these up, if you're into racing games on the Xbox 360, I highly recommend it. I've got a couple more coming, actually. I'm going to head down to the post office in a minute to check it out. I've got two more games coming, and I've got a fair few that I'm in the backlog ready to sort of t to go to try it out, especially some rally games other and some, you know, other racing games as well. So, no, fantastic controller. Can't recommend it high enough. I've had so much fun with this. I've had this footage filmed for a while now. I sort of filmed it one night when I was having fun. I had a few drinks and I was just like, you know what, let's just put this on. Let's see what happens. You know, if I get a good race, because I was sort of trying to level up at that point, trying to get through a, a couple of the tracks. And as you'll see in the video. So, no, it was, yeah, it was good. I thought I'd just keep it for one of those days when I had planned to do a, a gameplay video. And today's the day. So I hope you enjoy this little bit of footage. It's fun. I had to keep it. It's great. <laughs> Oh, no. 
game we're going to be playing is a bit of this game groove rider slot car racing i absolutely love slot cars and as you can see in my cupboard here i've still got my little slot cars set up there that's my afx ones used to do a bit of extra body with paint to them so that's those and also i've still got my afx track bathurst track in the corner there, as you can sort of see there Occasionally I'll set it up, but it hasn't been set up for a little while. So what we're going to do is put on some gameplay of this game. You can sort of see it going there. That's just sort of me before I'm about to start a game. So yeah, we'll play some Groove Rider. All right, for a bit of, up for a bit of Groove Rider action here. As we get started, pushing forward on the analog stick, gets us going. L1 and R1, change lanes. Don't slide out. Stay on the track. Watch out for things like this. Whoa, almost got done then. Lose the boost, slide around the corners. Those greens turn into reds. Mines, as you can see, I've got a mine at the top, and I use red to X button to get rid of that. Nice close race in here. Let's see our first lap down. Not to change lanes. Oh, oh no! How did that happen? I didn't know how that worked. <laughs> Can we lap three or five now? Sitting third. The turbo, let's go. Well, thanks for joining me on today's video. I hope you enjoy the content. A little bit of gameplay action. Love my car games especially slot car racing, racing simulators and arcade chaos in the way of Ridge Racer. So yeah, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It's always fun, get stuck here and there, but like I said, it's all good fun. We're all collectors, we're all players, we're all gamers. It's all a little fun when it's PS2. Oh, off we go, I'm stuck on the right one too. Yeah, so we'll finish off this lap. Have a good week, everybody. Woo -woo. Keep gaming. Keep having fun. Keep laughing. Keep collecting. Come on, mate. Let's finish this off with a bang. Can I get there? How'd that guy come from the side? Go brother, second's not too bad. Alright, see you everyone.